Welcome to the Ethical Hacking for Beginners course. I'm Sue Poman. I'm co-instructing with Snee Hill Care. I wanted to talk to you before we go any further about ethical hacking. Now, ethical hacking consists of two words, ethical and hacking. Now, hacking encompasses a broad range of activities. Generally, the act of hacking is having a system, any system, and doesn't necessarily have to be a computer. Although most dictionaries, or if you looked up the term hacking, would be to do with computers. But hacking can happen with any system. It can happen with time. It can happen with Word. It can happen with Excel. It can happen with making Udemy courses. It can happen with everything. The purpose of hacking a system is making it do something you intend it to do, rather than what it was designed to do. Okay, so let's imagine you have a lock on your house. I assume you have a lock on your house. I mean, the whole purpose of a, of a lock is to prevent intruders from coming into your house. That is what it was designed for. However, somebody can enter if they pick the lock. If they pick the lock and enter, they've hacked it. They've basically made the lock do what they want them to do, rather than what it was designed to do. And that is the act of hacking. Now, the ethical side of hacking is that if you're the house owner and you pay somebody to break the lock on your, or test the lock on your locking system, that is ethical, because you're giving them permission to do it. So if you want to see how easy it is to break into your house, you can pay somebody to do it. Now this can apply for the manufacturers of all sorts of locks, i.e. cars, to test them, to make sure car thief can't get into a car. So that is how an ethical hacker works. They basically are given permission to break into something for the purposes of testing and seeing if it works. So ethical means having permission. So during this course, you are going to be taught how to penetrate systems, how to exploit systems, how to break into devices and social media accounts. You are going to have a lot more skills than you've got right now. So at the end of this course, you are going to have the ability to hack accounts and do serious damage, potentially with legal implications. So before we start, I wanted to include a disclaimer that we do not encourage any sort of illegal activity. We are against it. We advise against illegal activity. Now, Sneehill will be providing you with the ability to create a Kali Linux virtual machine which will help you penetrate systems within devices. So you are going to have the skill to do ethical hacking as a practice and there's no need to get involved in any illegal activities, okay? Additionally, you will learn how to defend yourself against attacks. So you can make your defenses impenetrable. That is really the purpose of this course, to teach you how to hack, to have an awareness of hacking and the practice of it and how hackers are able to manipulate people into giving them passwords or giving them information that they can hack people with. And additionally, will allow you to be able to safeguard yourself, understand the signs, see when something is likely to happen and protect yourself against it. So, I hope you enjoy the series of lectures coming up because they are brilliant. They are really going to help you understand how to ethically hack systems. So, we will see you in the next lecture.